okay hello everyone victor momo from excel moments and this video is going to be different from you know my regular videos which are more around you know excel tips you know solving excel challenges with you know complex you know nested functions reduce scan map lambda lambda helper functions this one is different one of those problems where a formula can't help you and like can boldly say power query can't help you as well <laughs> okay uh, but this is a real problem that someone faced you know i shared with me and i just thought it was good you know to create a solution and show you you know how to get it done one of those problems that you can just go online and lift the solution and tailor it to your case but i'm more interested in how does this actually work and you know thinking through it so you can build fluency let me describe quickly what the person had and the data here looks nothing like what the person had this is really just for you know demonstration or illustrative purposes um so you have a couple of comments as you can see here threaded comments you know not what we now call notes which used to be the ugly looking comments that we had you know previously and you can see that yeah here you have myself and you know you have replies i would have loved to have you know different names here but i think i'm more comfortable putting my name out there as opposed to putting somebody else's okay <laughs> all right and what you want to be able to do is extract all the comments and be able to say oh yeah this comment is tied to maybe this person william this next comment here even if it's on a different column but it's also tied to william there's another one down here you know and this one is tied to jose you know just being able to get that out but i felt why not be able to get all the comments in the workbook you know and be able to have like a table that kind of lists that that looks something like this right the author the date and the time you know the comment text the replies sheet name and address yeah now i see this okay um you can always you know list all the comments in the workbook view them you know go to review and you do show comments you see all the comments but having it in that tabular form is really my objective so for this particular exercise i'm going to use vba you can also use office scripts right so let's get into that developer visual basic you could press alt f11 and here i create a module that's where i'm going to type in the code alt im that's what i use right and i'm going to call my subroutine you know comment extractor uh, this is one of the few videos where i get to write you know vba codes i write a lot of vba codes but not you know on youtube videos in case you had no idea i knew how to do it well anyway you find out okay all right so i'm going to start this up you know by using just one sheet i'm going to extract all the comments from this sheet and then i'll just create a loop so i can go you know across all the sheets so this sheet is called some p you know and then i have a comment sheet you know where i'm going to put all those comments which look something like this all right so let's get back here okay and since i know that you know for all the comments i'm going to have you know maybe in that particular worksheet i will kind of need to iterate through each of them you know and get out you know different properties i'll need a variable with which i'm going to loop we typically use i okay so i'll say name i as integer i know that i need a worksheet i use maybe ws for that i know my comment sheet is also a sheet i need to reference okay and i'll do that so now i've just created you know room for them in memory i now need to assign okay so what exactly does ws refer to so i can say set ws you know to be the sum p sheet okay and then set ws com to be the comment sheets okay all right so now the first question is how do i know how many comments i have on that sum p sheet very simple just start up with ws and always take advantage of intellisense and you start typing com like comments if you go with this you know you are referring to notes like the old looking comments but threaded comments is all we're interested in here as you could see from the example i showed somebody could type in a comment and people could reply like have a thread so we go to comments threaded and we do dot you know count okay so this would give us you know the number of um, threaded comments we have on that sheet just put a message box here you could also use you know the intermediate window but let's do this so okay play so you can see that we have three okay and those were the three you know i kind of showed you you know here so that's one that's two and then you know you have the third one you know not too far down so that's here all right so now that we have that we really can just iterate through you know that's collection or array so i say for i equals to one to this 
okay so whatever discount gives you you know you are trading through that i could say next i but i could just say next okay so in here what do i want to do i know i'm going to be referencing the comment sheets so instead of writing that multiple times i just use wit well those who are familiar with vba will understand this but i'll tell you what i'm trying to do here okay so where are the comments going so let's go back here and see on this sheet i want to start you know pasting the comments from you know row three okay so i can just create a variable you know which is just to help me uh you know know where my starting point is so i call it cnt okay or maybe i use a different thing but well i think i like cnt <laughs> okay all right all right and cnt here is going to be three so the first comment should go on you know row three then subsequent ones would be like cnt plus one and you keep going that way so what's the first thing you want to get the first thing there is to get the author of the comment so i can say on the comment sheet which is you know wscom so i say dot cells i'm trying to you know tell it a location so what row the row is cnt so whatever cnt is at this point you know that will be the row that will be referenced here and then in terms of you know the column the column is column two that's where you have let's just you know go back here okay so that's where you have you know the author so that's where we want to put that in okay so the value in that cell should be equals to what this here ws.comments traded that's where you have all your comments so we now need to get maybe the first item there the second item the third item you know pretty much using the loop so i go in there and say ws.comments traded if you go on you would see you know item and you can say you want the i item what this means is that when i is one you are interested in the first comment when i is two second comment third and so on so what about the comment are you interested in you're interested in the author so you go further you say author and then you say name so that gives you the name of the author it's that simple okay so now let's go to the next one which is you know the time the comment was made all right so come in here so do a paste here all right so let's go i think we, we can get it from here okay so here and then we do date so that tells us you know the date that the comment was made all right so let's go to the next one but this here should be on you know column three the next one is on column four so what's on column four column four is the text itself okay so the actual comments so you come in here you know you say item and then you say text so that will give you the actual text that you need the next thing is supposed to be replies but replies is a little complex so i'm going to skip that you know and go to the next one which is the sheet name right so what's the name of the sheet where this comment you know recites because here you are looping through you know a sheet that is named ws and that's what i'm going to use even when i am looping through all the sheets you can simply say ws.name you know so the name of ws ws is a worksheet so whatever name it is that's the name of the sheet then the last one is the address of the comment so on that sheet you know where exactly does that comment reside that's seven okay and then let's try and do this so same thing we kind of do you know comments traded okay and then you know we do item so we are almost there so now how do we get you know the location of the comment the comment always sits you know in a cell right so if you think about it from a relationship standpoint it's like a child parent relationship the parent of the comment is the cell okay so a cell is kind of like you know the father then the comment is the subset so if you do you know dot parent here you are referring to the cell where that comment resides and if you then do dot address that gives you you know the address of um, that particular you know comment so once you are done with that you need to increment your cnt why do you need to do that if not all your comments would you know override themselves so it means that the first comment will come on row three by the time you are looping through the next time it's going to be on row four or row five and so on so let's see what we get here so let's do a play okay so let's go back all right and you can see that i've been able to get you know the comments in here right the name of the sheets you know and the address so what i would want to do now is extend it to the other sheets because i only looped through the some p sheet so let's include you know all the others right so what we are going to do is that we are going to add you know an outer loop here right so i'm going to add an outer loop here and i will say for each ws ws i will make ws just a you know generic worksheet no more you know referencing something in particular but for each ws in i will explain what this is 
Hmm? So what this is is just saying is that for each because you've defined you know WS and you said it's a worksheet. So what this means is that for each worksheet in the active workbook dot worksheets collection. So it means in this collection, what are we going to have? We are going to have four sheets. Some P just practicing another sheet and comment. So it's going to iterate through each of them one after the other. At the end here, let's put a next. But maybe just to be explicit, this one is WS and this one is I. So I don't need to use this line again where I'm saying, you know, that WS refers to a particular sheet. Inside here, it's going to loop through, you know, that collection and it's going to know what to do. So with this, I should be fine for all the worksheets. The only thing you may want to do is, oh, let's say you want to exclude maybe that comment sheet. You don't want the comments that appear on the comment sheet in here. You could go into your loop and say, oh, if the name of the worksheet, for example, if ws.name is not, you know, comment. So what happens is that this would only iterate through all the other sheets, but it would exclude the comment sheets, okay, in case you want to do that. But let's take that out. So let's see if this is fine. I like to always check. Let's see. Let's play. Okay. Looks like it's good. So now you see that we've been able to add the other. So we have some P, we have just practicing, we have another sheet. So we have gotten all the comments across, you know, all the sheets. There's no sheet on, um, no comment on the comment sheet, and that's why we don't have anything here. So the last thing we want to do is to look at replies. Okay. So let's come here and see what we are trying to get. So if you go to the top, you look at this comment, you can see that the primary comment is why is this not working? And then you have replies. Keep trying. I will close now as I have resolved the issue. Okay, so if you see on my extract, I've gotten the why is this not working, but I need to get those other replies in here. And what I want to do is I want to kind of stack them up, you know, like using a new line, like pressing Alt Enter. So the first comment, Alt Enter, next, Alt Enter, you know, something like that. So let's go, you know, back into Visual Basic. All right, so for that part which here, so that's supposed to come here, which is supposed to be our column five. So I'll first of all, you know, just set that to nothing you know just make sure that that's, <laughs> that cell is blank may not be necessary but well that's important to do the next thing is okay how do i know you know how many replies you know i have first of all and if i know the number of replies then i can loop you know through the number of replies you know to pick them up so i know i will need a variable to loop through that so i will just give that maybe a j and say you know name j as an integer so what i'm going to do is i come here and i'll say for j equals to one two so let's get you know the comments first of all okay so dot item here we say item i and then on the item you know you can see replies okay so we can see replies and we can then get you know a count so if you read this backwards it's like saying count the number of replies associated with this item which is a comment you know within this ws that comment traded collection okay and then i do next j okay so what do i want to do in here what do I want the value in that cell to be? So I come back and I say that cell, you know, which is going to be whatever row you are on and column five, as we already know, I want the value in there, you know, to be equal to the value itself. You know, this is how, you know, you kind of make it, you know, accumulate, right? Like when you use the reducer scan function. Okay, so I'm going to say, I want you to take the value that you have in there currently you know add a new line to it which is you know character 10 that's like when you press alt enter and then add that to uh, the actual text of the reply so which means you know go back in here you know comments threaded go to the item you are on which is item i and then for the reply you are interested in reply j now it means that if j is one you're interested in the first reply associated with that comment when j is two second reply associated with that comment but you need the actual you know text of the reply okay so that's what you need there so this should give you something you know close but not perfect but let's see what we get so let's well maybe just debug hopefully it's fine okay play all right let's go back Okay, so now you can see that we're able to get, you know, the replies in here. There's just one thing, and of course, some of us are very pedantic. So you realize that, well, because of how I set it up, you know, I'm having, you know, a character on the first line, you know, before uh, the other characters. There. So I need to get rid of it. There's so many ways, you know, in which you can get rid of it. I can just decide, mm, yeah, I'm very lazy, you know, tonight. And I just say, okay, well, let me set the value to, you know, the mid of that same value but i pick from character two because i know that's going to be one character there so pick from the second character and maybe just pick the length of the string somebody may say oh length of the string minus one well whatever 
Okay, so <laughs> all right, so play this. <laughs> okay, so now you see that yes, it's cleaner. Okay, and you have everything you want and you have it all in there. The only thing I will add to it is that before you start, you know, it may be important to ensure that the range is you know clear right so that you don't have a case where you know you're stacking you know some old comments with some new ones where comments have been deleted so the only thing i would add you know in here and i'm not trying to write you know like a fully error proof code it's really just showing you you know the thoughts and you know the mechanics of it so what i could do you know before all of this is just to maybe clear a range i know that that's going to start from like okay so let's make sure it's wscom that's the sheet you know we are on you know so let's say we start with range let's say b3 and you know for this i just want to keep it simple and i go all the way to g1000 you can start you know trying to figure out the exact last row of data you know that's easy to do all your rows you know dot count and excel or poor you know but this is this you know and then you do clear if you do clear you're going to clear both the content and the formatting okay so you do clear content which just keeps the formatting like the borders you have in there or clears you know the content okay so you do that so which means that it would always clear before it actually runs okay now you can run this again you won't see any difference but you just ensure that you know you don't have you know some old data you know being added to the new one so that's how to get it done you know i hope you know you've enjoyed this video um if you have which i know you have you know please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel excel moments and for more vba code you know stay tuned for now i'll i was gonna say i'm out yeah that's what i'm still gonna say i'm out i was gonna say i'll be back but i'm not terminator yeah but i'll be back but i'm out <laughs> okay <laughs>